In this video, I'll quickly go over my process of modeling this plane in Fusion 360. I began by adding top, front, and side view reference images as canvases. Next, I created a top view and side view sketch and traced along the body of the plane. Then I added offset planes near the nose and tail to create more sketches. I projected the points where the two previous sketches intersected these planes and connected these points on each new sketch to create a cross-sectional shape of the airplane. Then I used the loft tool to connect these three new sketches. I used the original two sketches as guides. In a new sketch, I traced out the window and frame. I used the split tool to separate the window from the main body so that it is easier to give the window a different material later on. Here you see that I have already changed the materials. For the tail, I created a top view sketch. I also drew two side view sketches, one for the back vertical line and another for the front curve. Breaking this sketch into two helped with the next step. I then swept the top view sketch up using the side view sketches as guides. For the wing, I added an offset plane at the tip and drew two sketches. One was drawn at the tip while the other was drawn at the base. I used the base sketch to split the body. Then I lofted between the main body of the plane and the tip of the wing. I repeated this exact process for the other wing. Now for the tail, I created an offset plane and once again drew a sketch very similarly to the tip of the wing. This sketch was then extruded to the appropriate length. The landing gear was created by adding an offset plane along the body then drawing out the support and extruding it. A simple sketch was created for the wheel. This was then extruded and filleted. I mirrored the wheel to the other side. The back wheel was done in the same way as the front. A sketch was created, then extruded, and the wheel was filleted to round it out. For the nose, I made a sketch of the upper half, then revolved it around to create the cone. A few more supports were added to the tail by creating sketches on offset planes and then extruding. And finally I added in the spray system. This was not in my original reference images, so I looked online and simplified the design. Again, this was done by creating a sketch and then extruding. Once the model is complete, add in a different material for each component. This way, when you export the model as an OBJ file, it will be easy to adjust the materials later on in Blender.